it is so awesome to be here. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. To see what God has prophesied that has come to pass. All you lovely saints, you may be seated. I'm just excited to be here. Amen. Bless the Lord. And as I, the Lord put this word in my spirit. Amen. From Revelation 3 about the open door. Hallelujah. And as I listened to the bishop explaining the things that God prophesied before we got to this point, and it has come to pass. Amen. Bless the Lord. It just reminds me that it's not a man made thing. Amen. This is a God thing. I said, This is a God thing. And there will be many distractions around us. But we must know that amidst all the noise, it is God who is working. Come on, Shanda. Yes, Satan, come on, Shanda. Glory. Hallelujah. I said, it's God. And he said, I have, I've said before you an open door. That's what he said to the church in Philadelphia. And he said, no man can shut the door. Amen. Because I have opened the door. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I said it's an open door. And it was opened by man. It was opened by God. Amen. And that's why no matter what's going on around us. Stay in this open door. Walk in it. You might have trials. I see you might have trials. And trials are part of the journey. Long suffering is one of the fruit of the spirit. But because we recognize that this door is opened by Jesus Christ, by God himself, we got to walk in the door. Walk in the door. And when the trials come, when obstruction come, I mean, look beyond the present situation and see that door that God has opened. And don't be fearful. If you see somebody walking towards the door as if they're going to shut it, don't get fearful. You know what? God has opened that door. I said, God has opened that door. And no man can shut it. You tell me which man can shut the door. Tell me which man. No matter what power he has on earth, he cannot shut the door. And I just want to remind us, church, I'm not talking about the building as beautiful as it is. We, the people of God, amen, we are the church. The Bible said, as Jesus told Peter, my God, Upon this rock. Upon this rock. I'm not talking about a stone you find around the back. I'm talking about the rock Jesus Christ. Upon this rock. I build my church. I build my church. I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Amen. Therefore we are walking in confidence. And authority. Therefore we don't get shaken by every little wind. That blows. Because we know that this, the church of the living God cannot go down. It is alive and well. Somebody lift your hands in confidence this morning. Knowing that you are in something, an entity that Jesus Christ himself has built. And there is an open door. And don't be afraid. No man. Somebody said no man. No man. No man. No man can shut this door. Walk in the vision. Amen. And do your part.